So here is Ira. This is what we have so far with his cords. I started on August 1st. It's currently October 15th. Um, we, I started with a bath and not blow drying at that point and just tried to let it stay. After about a month or so, I decided that I was impatient and it wasn't really doing much, so I started banding up like this. I started out with three, actually. I did one at the bottom, one as close to the top as I could, and one in the center. On a lot of these cords, it ended up matting at the bottom, and like this one, not really doing much at the top. And then in the front, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, all of them didn't really cord up at all. This is without brushing or doing anything on this one. But I just got a felting needle and I tried going over some of these. Um, so this one and this one were pretty comparable to this one and this one. As you can see, these are not perfect. They're not still really frizzy, but they are looking much, much better. And then I also did this one, which I did uh, do at the bottom, and then this one I just did, which isn't really staying up together at the bottom as well, but that's one, this one started out the same as this just earlier this evening. So what I have here is uh, just a piece of styrofoam. And then I also have a felting, get felting needles. You can just get them single ones, but they have like little hooks at the end. But this one has three, three little hooks that go into this. And what I found works is I take the cord, I put this right behind it, or you can do it this way, um, but I found doing it this way works nicely. Kind of end, drape the end over, twist it so that I have a nice tight cord. And then I just start poking at it from all different angles and sides. Stop, kind of retwist it. You see here as I'm twisting, it gets thinner and thinner at the top and there's all these hairs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this over and try to get this underneath. Move my hand here. These needles are very sharp, so be very careful. Out, I got my finger. So be very careful. Do not want to do that. So um, there are little finger guards that you can get. Um, I think they're leather or plastic or something, but you can also just be careful and not poke yourself. But it's very easy to do if you do are not careful about it. So you see that's kind of going into this. So I move it around a little bit. Twist it. Pull it down here. I'm just trying to get this started. And then after we're done... Um, I'm going to spritz this with water and to hopefully get this to hold better to get what I'm doing to stay. Just trying to squeeze in what I want. Twist around again. Trying to get all these angles so I can get all the stray hairs in. 
Before I started this, I did look up some videos on the basics of felting, crafting felting, um, which did really help. Kind of got me the idea of it, but it's really just as simple as this. Um, basically just going over and over the same thing until the fibers go into the cord. You see here, it definitely has more that it can do, but it's not looking. This is the same, kind of the same thing as the one next to it. This one I obviously did a little bit more on, so I can go back and do more, or I can leave it for today, at least since it started. Um, what I also can do here is um, I was going to band up the ends just as close to the top as I can or even kind of go down a little bit so it's multiple banded up here and I can just cut these out later but that kind of keeps it together so it doesn't fray and then this one obviously is not doing too much on its own so go back here twist The skin is right here at the bottom, so don't want to get too close. Stop. Twist a little bit more. This one, I don't know if you can see, but... It really does not want to go together the same way that the other one did. This hair is just very different. Um, Ira has very silky hair all over. I can go a month without with it brushing him maybe once bait and then bathing him um, in a moderate haircut. You see right here, this is already sticking together. It's not. It's coming together there. So now I can start twisting it and putting this top part down. So it gets really thin up there and otherwise I'm just going to be cutting it off so this can just add to the bulk of the end which I think will work out nicely. Make the whole thing look nicer. It starts to stick into that, pull it off. But a little sticking actually helps it stay in place. This is where the finger guards would be nice, but I don't have any right now. So, try to be careful. <laughs> you see here, you can definitely do more work. The more that you do, that the more it's going to come together. But um, for this one, for these two, what I'm going to do is to try to keep it together at the base. Keep it starting that mat. I'm going to band it at the bottom here. And band it at the top. I'm not going to worry about the middle because that's the part that I mostly got. Um, one thing that you do want to be careful about is that these bands do attract a lot of dirt. A lot of things get into them. Um, so trying to change these out and keep them bathed is a really great idea. Otherwise, start getting stuff in it like this one. If you can see, it has a bunch of just crap in it. So that's what you want to try to avoid. That's not, we really don't want those, but that's what I got. So don't do that. And there we go. That's Mr. Ira. 
and that's what we're looking like.